All right, what is going on, buddy? So we are back with my mid-major top 30 slash power 30 for week 12 of the college basketball season. And yeah, let's just get into a lot of new changes here. Um, You know, some teams dropping, some teams rising. But yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, So yeah, starting off uh, with number one. By the way, I did do this in... uh, vertical this time because I knew uh that horizontal would be was kind of too complicated last time but yeah so we have Houston at one once again um even though they did lose to Temple at home but I still think they are a very elite team they're 18 and 2 you know Marcus Sasser has been leading that team uh Jairus Walker as well uh, Tremont Mark has been really good for them recently, Juan Roberts. Um, so yeah, they're still good, uh, at the top of my major top 30. Uh, at two, we have, uh, different teams. St. Mary's, I have is the second best mid-major in all college basketball. Uh, they are just, like, their style of play is hard to compete with, man. Uh, St. Mary's. I think they are underrated team, and they have, I think that they're, uh, I don't know, like, are, I don't want to say final, fo- like, maybe they are a final four team, maybe, like, kind of like a Cinderella run, I guess, but they have just such a well-rounded team, they are 18-4, and four. Aiden Mahaney has been unreal for them, uh, Mitchell Saxon has been great. He was on my underrated list for major players. Alex Dukas, Logan Johnson, Kyle Bowen, Harry Wessels as well. This is a good backup center, in my opinion. Josh Jefferson, Luke Barrel, Barrett, uh, Chris Howell. Yeah, just such a good team. They're well coached as well. Uh, next up, we have Charleston. And, yeah, they're in front of Gonzaga, too. They are... T- I, yeah, I have them in front of the Gonzaga. They're 21-1 and one with just an unbelievable win streak going for them. And led by Dalton Bullen, who has, who's been a very efficient player for them. And once again, another well-coached team. At four, I have Gonzaga. They lost to Loyola Marymount, which is very solid mid-major. And I was actually um, debating if I should put them in the top 30. They kind of just missed... Uh, Loyola Marymount, but yeah, Gonzaga, and they also, they did win a close one for Pacific, but Pacific's, t- like, they're, they play really tough, uh, Pacific, but, uh, yeah, they were really able to get that win, they are 17 and 4, led by Drew Timmy, Jul- Julian Strother, uh, I still think they're a very solid team, but they did lose to Texas, Purdue, and Baylor, all uh, ranked teams. Uh, and, well, they did beat Kentucky, though, so at the beginning of the season, so that's very good, and Michigan State. But I still think they're fourth here. Uh, at five, I have Florida Atlantic. Uh, yeah, led by Elijah Martin and John L. Davis. Once again, just such a good, well-rounded team. Well-coached, uh, same with uh, Charleston and St. Mary's. At six, I have New Mexico. Got a very, very, very solid win versus San Diego State. And uh, some other solid wins as well. They have, they actually might have a game going on right now. Hold on. Uh, versus Nevada today at the time I'm recording this. Uh, but this would be for before then, kind of, I guess. So, uh, they... Uh, let me check here. Yeah, New Mexico. Um, yeah, they're live against uh, Nevada right now. Uh, I can't see the score. Uh, but they also beat Boise State, San Jose State, and Oral Roberts. Uh, on January 9th, uh, there was, which was an intro. I kind of forget why they play them there. Uh, but yeah, I have them at six here. Kent State, I have at seven. They are so good in Mac play right now, 1A Mac, 
uh, sincere K- Curry leading that game, leading that team. Uh, eight, I have Utah State. Uh, such a deep team. Uh, Sean Bearstow, uh, Stephen Ashworth, uh, Z Hamoda, as well Trevin Dorries. They have been a very good, well-rounded team. At nine, I have Nevada. Uh, Will Baker. Once again, you guys know I'm a big Will Baker guy. They've been solid. Uh, I believe they're fifteen and five. Uh, but San Diego State, I have at ten here. Um, they're still a very good Mountain West team. Uh, like I said, uh, Matt Bradley, Darian Trammell, they're still doing their thing over there. They're fifteen and four. Uh, at eleven, I have Boise State. Uh, once again, they took a l- tough loss to New Mexico, but they're still another well-rounded team, well-coached team, um, and they can get hot at times as well. At 12, I have Oral Roberts out of the Summit League, and they have been on a tear lately uh, through the Summit League, led by Max Amos, Connor Vanover. Uh, Marshall at 13, they have been... Consistent, in my opinion, Tavian Kinsey, um, led by him over there. Um, I honestly like White Fricks for them. I think he's a good wing for that. And we'll see if the, you know, he gets uh, involved more. But hey, he definitely has though. But uh, we'll definitely see there. At fourteen, I have Santa Clara. They have still been pretty good. They've kind of suffered some tough losses. Uh, but still good, but by uh, Brandon Potsminski. Uh, 15, Southern Miss has still been dangerous in the Sun Belt. Sorry about that noise, by the way. Um, 16, I have the Memphis Tigers. Uh, Kendrick Davis there. Uh, I know, I feel like uh, Memphis is kind of going to pick it up um, and make their way to like a top. Yeah, 15, the major, I think. They could definitely do it there. Um, 17, I have Louisiana. I think they're moving up, definitely. Uh, led by Jordan Brown there, uh, who was my mid-major player of the week. Last week, by the way. Um, 18, I have Seattle. Uh, I think they should be whack favorites right now. Uh, them uh, and Utah Valley. For sure, maybe uh, Southern Utah can get up there as well. Uh, 19, I have UC Santa Barbara. They are 16 and 3, and they've been proving themselves lately by getting some solid wins in Big West play. At 20, I have Southern Illinois. I'm a big Marcus Domas guy. I think he's a really tough player, and they could win the MVC this season, which will be really nice to see. Um, and they're actually new coming in. Yeah, top 20. It's great for them. Uh, at 21, I have North Texas. Um, they're kind of dropping a little bit. They're out of the conference, you would say. Uh, at 22, I have Liberty. Uh, they've got, they're on a solid um, win. Do Are they on a win streak? I think they are. Uh, but yeah, led by Darius McGee, one of the best scorers in all of college basketball. At 23, I have Cornell, my former team, um, led by Greg Dolan. Uh, they're very well coached. They suffer, like, all their losses have been very tight, very close, in my opinion. Uh, suffered a tough loss to Harvard, which is a good Ivy League team. Uh, but, yeah, led by Greg Nolan, uh, Nazir Williams, Keller Boothby, um, Isaiah Gray. Uh, at 24, I have UNLV kind of dropping a little bit. They're 12-7. and 7. Uh, I'm still a big EJ Harkless guy, though. Uh, at 25, I have Utah Valley. Uh, once again, uh, like, I say this a lot, but imagine if Utah Valley still had Fardos Amy. They would be so elite. Like, I feel like they'd be a top 10 mid-major, in my opinion. Yeah, they'd definitely be, uh, you know, whack favorites, in my opinion. But, yeah, led by Trey Woodbury, Dustin Harmon there. 
as is Ben Dogo, as well, has been so important to them. Although Trey, Darthrude as well, uh, uh, at 26 IVCU, and uh, I really like Jaden Nunn, a guy that could potentially make the NBA, has been great for them. Uh, Ace Baldwin as well in there, got a great group of, or uh, win streak right now. Uh, in the A-10, uh, Kennesaw State has been such a tough and fun team to watch in the A-Sun. They're here at 27, 28 IV Eastern Washington of the Big Sky Conference representing the Big Sky there. Uh, their A and O Big Sky play, unfortunately, have beat my Grizzlies twice. Uh, but yes, yeah, Steel Venters is a very tough player. Uh, they're a fun team to watch. 29, I have US, UMass Lowell. Uh, had a great t- start to the season. They are back in my top 30. Uh, and at 30, I have Ball State. Uh, yeah, that Payton Sparks, one of the most underrated players, in my opinion, in just big major basketball. And then Jalen Sellers is the guy I also like for Ball State. And they're 13 and 6. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this and who's in your top 30, uh, who's at the top of it, who's in the middle, and who's kind of at the bottom, uh, or like what you would change. And yeah, subscribe for more mid major college basketball content. And y'all see you next one. Peace.